coming back out of the music area, back to the ac activities hallway. So this will be the area that has the Hall of Fame um, plaques and some trophies and things like that. There'll be some decorations and stuff going on inside this area, but right now we're just going to kind of hang tight and get them maybe later. So this will be the main entrance to the gymnasium. So right here to your left, they're not in yet, but that'll be the main doors coming in from the gym or to the gym. And then activities office is right there so I'll, I'll show you kind of what we did up front as well so during the school day if you're a visitor we're gonna we're gonna really ask most people to come in the main door but if somebody needs to come in this door they can come in this door will be open here but all the vestibule doors on the inside will be locked this door right here will come into the activities secretary and the activities office check in and then you got to come around, you got to go through this door right here so it's secured. So we make sure everybody that's in the building is supposed to be here. Off to our left, you're going to see two rooms in here. These rooms are the foundation rooms. So we will have the, uh, we'll have the Oatana Foundation and the ISD 761 Foundation rooms. Um, those were each. $250,000 donated to the school to build these rooms. So this will, be a, this will be a really nice area for community use when they need to rent something out or, or even if Mr. Kat is having a um, staff meeting, things like that. This will go straight out to the plaza area where you can see the football field, I think, a little bit in the background there. So and they're putting, they're laying the cement right now to get that going. So come on this way. We're going to kind of head down here so right off to our left over here will be the concession stand for games that are going on inside the gymnasium and as you can see there's two windows on the back side of that wall those will also double that will also double as the concession stand for the football lacrosse track games like that they're that going on outside so we can utilize the same concession stand for both inside and outside these right here, they're working on them right now, so we'll stay out of there. But these are the, there's um, lavatories here for the gymnasium area. Same thing as we did in the concession stand. We put doors on the outside so that you can utilize them for both. There's another set of these on the other side of the gym. And then there's one more upstairs. So we'll have three sets of um, restrooms. So now we're heading down into an area where Mainly the athletes are going to be. So this is down in the locker room area and the uh, Phi Ed kids. Okay, so we're heading into the Phi Ed area. Phi Ed locker room. Something a little different that we've done in this area is that this area will be where their lockers are at. And it will be for boys and girls, but it's not a changing area. It's just to store their clothes. clothes. So they'll come in here, get their stuff out of their locker. And then right down this hallway, there's seven changing rooms. You can kind of see where those are. There's some changing rooms down there. And then um, if those seven uh, rooms, changing rooms are full, the boys, this is the boys' locker room here. Girls is the other way. We're going to show you the boys. It's identical to the girls. Um, Phi Ed can come through here. And they can come into this room right here. And this room is going to have just a bench that goes all the way along the bottom. And this is just a changing room. So they come in, they change, and then they head back out to get ready. So right here will be a training room. So this will be where the uh, our trainer is. Got a nice office space for him or her. And then they'll have Whirlpool in here. There'll be some changing tables, uh, taping tables, um, with a doorway that goes straight out to the plaza area in case there's an injury during football or an outdoor activity and it comes straight in. This will be the visitor's locker room. So we'll be able to have a boys basketball game going on. The boys team will be able to come into here, the visitors, and, and use this room 
and not have to worry about kicking the girls out because we have now four courts. So they can still have practicing going on on the girls' side on the auxiliary gym if they need to without getting kicked out of their locker room. So during the school day, during the school day, this door will be locked. And then this will be open in here because we have Fayed in the Fayed changing room. And then we have the bathrooms over here. So this is your toilets and your urinals. And then over here we have individual showers. So during the school day, if anybody takes a shower, which I don't think they do anymore, we have to have them available. The kids can use this, but that, that locker room is locked off. They can't use it. During the nighttime when we have the visitors here, that door will be open. This one will be closed off. And then the visitors can use this set of toilets and this set of showers. So then we can utilize. We didn't have to double up. This is the varsity locker room. So the varsity locker room will have um, its own lockers and stuff in here. And then they have their own bathroom in here as well. I want to take you down and show you the wrestling room that we have as well. So again, these doors will be wide open unless, unless there's a tornado and then they'll come down. And to mention tornadoes, so hey guys, this whole area off to our left, all the locker rooms and the, and the wrestling room is a tornado safe shelter. So halfway between, well, maybe not halfway, about a quarter way between design, we had the, the state law passed that you have to have an area big enough to house the entire school population in one area with its own HVAC, its own electrical, and this will be the space that we have for that. So you'll notice there's no windows or anything down here. That's because it's a tornado shelter as well, and the walls are pretty thick. So this is the wrestling room as you come in. You can see how thick these walls are. This, is, this thing will, should withstand a F5 tornado. That's what it was designed for. So yeah, this will be the wrestling room. The mats will come in later. Um, the padding along the walls will come in later. Should be pretty neat for the kids. They're going to love it.